Hello everyone, the Primus Developer Hub has officially launched. In this tutorial video, we'll guide you through the two main functions on the Hub. The first time when you access the Primus Developer Hub, remember to log in using Google Auth. Let's first explore the Create Template function. To create a template, you must first install the Primus extension. The extension is an essential tool for fetching the data you need to verify. After installation, you'll need to follow five steps to complete the entire process. First, enter the website URL containing the data. After clicking the Open button, a new window will open behind the current page. Simply leave the new window open. It won't interrupt your workflow. In step two, all responses from the target website will be displayed. Search for the specific data you need and click on one of the responses. On this page, you can view the request body details of the selected response. Use the search and targeting buttons to locate the data item. Simply add the necessary variables. Multiple variables are supported. As you can see here, we've selected create time and username as the two data items to verify. Moving to the next step, you'll set the basic information, data source name, data item name, and a brief description that will be displayed on the created template to provide users with a quick overview. In the URL section, we've simplified the configuration since requests often include dynamic elements like IDs and timestamps, we recommend selecting the dynamic request option. We've converted all dynamic parameters into regular expressions and implemented advanced logic in the Primus extension to verify if the request contains the desired data. For advanced users, choose advanced mode to manually adjust the request URL. Remember to click the check availability to verify its validity. Below, you'll find the data in JSON path format. If something's incorrect, click back to reset. Now, let's proceed to the final stage and test the preview template. By clicking the test button, you'll undergo an attestation process similar to what your users will experience when using your DAP. A new data source page will open and a small pop-up window will appear in the right corner. Click the start button and you'll quickly receive the attestation result. Back in the developer hub, the test response section provides a detailed breakdown of the test results. It lists the data items and their corresponding outcomes. For a detailed explanation of the attestation structure, please refer to our documentation where we explain the meaning of each part in detail. It's easy to integrate the Primus ZK TLS SDK into your dApp. Simply create a project through the hub, enter the project name, and a brief description for quickly identification among your projects. After creation, you can see the application ID and the secret key on this page. Be sure to save the secret key first, as it won't be displayed again for security reasons once you leave the page. Below, we've provided a sample test case to guide you in installing and integrating the Primus ZK TLS SDK. Use the search box to select the specific template ID you need. Templates are categorized into two sections, your private templates and public templates shared by all developers. Once you select a template ID, the at t template ID will be automatically updated, allowing you to copy the entire code block. All your projects can be found under the My Projects section. All templates you create will be listed here. By default, they are private and can only be used by you. To share your template with the community, click the Publish button on its detail page. This will make your template available to everyone in the marketplace. This is an example of a public template that you can view for reference. That's all for our introduction to the key features of our developer hub. Thank you for watching, and we can't wait to see what you're building.